Also tonight, we are continuing to keep a very close eye on the Sullivans down at the Buffalo and Erie County Naval and Military Park. The ship has been partially underwater for a little more than a week now. Yesterday, crews were able to plug a few holes there and save some of the important artifacts. But the weather hasn't been very cooperative at all in the overall process to right the ship. Doing your sides, Ron Plants has been reporting on the progress from the Naval Park. He's been doing a great job all week long. And Ron, things are looking up, I hear, today with nice weather expected for the weekend as well. Yeah, Scott, I think that is welcome news to the team here, which is trying to rescue and salvage this ship indeed, uh, because they do expect that that will allow them to work even more so on Saturday and Sunday, especially with those divers being in the water. And they were in the water again today, checking the exterior, the hull of the ship to check for any damage that may be there in terms of the outside. And they're also getting guidance from that special salvage team that was bought, brought in from Texas, and they will actually manage the pumping of water to get it out of the ship. And that'll be coming up. Uh, uh, to get it upright and save it in essence that's the goal those divers who we actually showed you yesterday in terms of the work they were doing they were working on the starboard or right side of the ship and now they're also checking the port or left side of the ship to check for any damage as you pointed out also plugging what are called vent holes these are actually regular parts of the ship for ventilation but they did get exposed to the water with a listing or angle of the ship so they have to be covered again as well and Again, as we pointed out, we spoke with a salvage team leader who's going to guide the eventual pumping of water of the ship. Once they're able to get inside and below the deck into those still flooded compartments, it's a complex process. They got to be safe. We need to make sure we have all the details and we're depending on all the parties to provide all those accurate details to us. You know, the contractors at the dive companies that are helping us out and we're gathering all those information. We're, perform we're providing models. Um, to try to figure out what's going to happen as we make this pump, as we start pumping it, to make sure the ship doesn't go the wrong way. We'll point out that this team from TNT Salvage from down in Texas has actually worked in pumping water out of that 100 year old battleship, the USS Texas, we told you about earlier in the week. So they do have some experience and know how with these old museum ships. Uh, the hope is that they can actually start getting inside. USS the Sullivan sometime next week to begin that intensive pumping from inside the ship to again help to upright it. Reporting live from the Buffalo Naval and Military Park, I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News. Back to you, Scott.